Hey, Rainbow here, welcome to my channel. And there's something I wanna talk about, this will be a really quick one, is I got this AGV K6 helmet. I actually have two AGV K6 helmets. And the reason um, why I got them, well, it's easy to explain. Number one, it's because they're lightweight. It's a good brand. Um, I have HJC, I have Shoei, I have AGV, and they're all pretty good. I would say that the Shoei is about the snuggest fitting but this is why I want people to think about this and do some checks before you buy a helmet, particular helmet or helmet brand. And I did already make a video about this helmet and that I could put a link up there somewhere. All right, anyway, so this helmet right here, um, again, the number one reason why I bought the AGV K6 is because it was the lightest weight helmet that I can find that was pretty safe and comfortable. Is it the quietest helmet? Absolutely not. Is it a very comfortable helmet? Yes, okay? And it has nice big ear pockets so that you can put in the bigger JBL speakers on your Cardo, all right? So I think that's all really good stuff. One of the other main reasons why I really like the AGV is that I don't have it on here now, but I love their shields. Um, they have a nice variety of shields. They're heavy duty. They last a long time. I like the way they look better than most other ones. The mirror glaze and all of that stuff, the iridium, I really like them. But here's the problem. This is the number one reason. For about the last year, I've been trying to replace both of the cheek pads. In, when I say both, I mean one for each helmet. The, the cheek pad set, all right? Not the, the beanie part that goes on top. There's nothing wrong with that. But these cheek pads have a tendency to wear out. So last year I started checking on them and no one had them in stock. I kept, well, I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait. And then this is the one that I take when I do track days. So I want this one to be nice and tight. So I took it from my other helmet and put it in. I swapped them so that I had a, like a safer helmet with better cheek pads. So it has been pretty much over a year that I've been trying to get cheek pads for this and I've been unable to do so, all right? Everyone seems to be out of stock on a regular basis. In the beginning when I first got these, it took a really long time to get the more popular shields in place. So that's another problem when you can't even get the most basic parts. But part of safety is replacing your cheek pad so that this helmet fits you nice and snug so you're not bouncing around and getting that coup contra coup effect uh, of your brain if you happen to wipe out, okay? So with that being said, the most recent thing I did is I finally just went to the dealer and I'm like, listen, just order me the pads. And they're like, oh, okay. And I did this the end of March, beginning of April, right around that time. And what they told me was, they're like, okay, no problem, Jeff. They'll be in around May 15th in that range. I'm like, all right, that's great. Uh, I came back May 21st and they're like, we don't even have a delivery date now. And then that turned into no delivery date and then finally, I finally got a delivery date. Ready? August 20th. So that means just for a simple part on this helmet, just simply replacing this part with cheek pads that are important for safety, you know, that's going, let's just go with May 1st, right? Um, or uh, let's go with April 1st, because I thought I did this the end of March, right? So then we'll go May 1st, June, July, August, towards the end of August. So basically four and a half months and they're not in. I don't know that they're gonna be in. So before you buy a brand, make sure that they have a good supply chain because something like that, as simple as even wanting to get a different shield could be a problem. So one of the things, no matter what it is, whether it's uh, anything that you could replace parts on, I always double check to see how the supply chain is looking for charts or uh, for parts. Anyway, this is Rainbow. Please like, please subscribe, I'd appreciate it. This is just a really quick tip, under five minutes, four minutes and 10 seconds to be exact. Thank you very much and have a good day. Bye-bye.